Hi guys, Mama Beach here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to do a really exciting unboxing of two retail coach bags that are actually the same bag in two different sizes. And I've been wanting to get my hands on one of these bags. People are raving about them and I think they're super cute, really smart style from Coach. But I was not sure which size I would really want to use in my everyday life. So I ordered both. I want to unbox them with you here on my channel, go over my first impressions, do a side-by-side -side comparison, show you how they fit on the body. So if you guys are questioning what size you think would work for you, you might kind of get an idea just based on my experience here in this video. So let's get started. They both came from retail store locations, not from the big warehouse in Jacksonville. So I'm kind of interested to see how these are packed. Um, all I've done so far is cut the tape. So this, this is the first one. I don't know which one this is. And it is wrapped up pretty nicely in paper, which is great. You don't always get that. Well, here it is, all nice and closed up in the dust bag. Ah, here's all my receipts and everything. So they give you in this nice little envelope. Anytime you order from the Coach Retail Store. So let's open the top here. I can kind of see peeking out which one it is. Oh, this is the full size Marley satchel. Okay, this is the big one. And this one is um, in conjunction with the current artist that they are working with. And I'm probably gonna butcher, butcher the name, but I think it's Kaffee, K-A-F-F-E. Um, it, this artist does a lot of floral um, designs. So if you're really into florals, definitely go check out Coach's retail stuff right now. There's a lot of great graphic floral stuff. For me, this is like super duper busy and I don't know that I would actually use this in my everyday life, but the plain Marley, the big one that's in the kelp green color was sold out when I went to buy. So I really got this just to kind of look it over and see if this is the size I want and then I'll know next time I see the kelp one to pounce on it. So I just wanna show you kind of quickly a tour of the bag, the features, you can see it has feet, has a lot of great hardware on it. People are complaining about these handles. I can get my hand through, but it is pretty tight. I mean, I'm 5'9", I'm a pretty big lady, and I have large hands and wrists, so I mean, I can fit. If you're very dainty, this would definitely work. And you can see the, the hang tag on these artist collaboration ones are different really cool hang tag actually I wish I could just keep that um, then you have it kind of opens like a bowling bag that's what it reminds me of a big bowling bag and you have this strap here that has this one is grommeted so it's interesting it's kind of a design element but it's also a practical element so you can really shorten this strap to whatever size you want if you want a short hanging bag you can do that if you want a long crossbody you can do that just because of the curved shape of this bag i really see it as a crossbody but i mean maybe once i play with it in person i'll change my mind so let me get the stuffing out and you can look at it the interior and it is stuffed pretty well surprisingly so here's the interior it is suede, which I didn't know. I assumed it was gonna be fabric, so that's a really nice detail. Actually, I'm sure it's micro microfiber, but feels and looks like suede. And then it looks like there is one zip pocket, and that is about it. I will say this opening is decent. It's not, I mean, just because of the style of this bag, you can see already the opening is gonna be an issue. But they have, they do have the zipper going all the way down the side, so that does help it open fairly wide. I think if you had it on your arm, it might be a little hard to get into because you have to kind of reach past your hand and then you're in this tiny slot area. So just something to keep in mind if that's something that will annoy you and you want to see like a big opening where you can see your items. I know some people are really particular about that. So I'm going to throw the strap on this and show you guys what it looks like on. Okay, this is the normal, large, I don't know what you want to call it, the regular size Marley satchel. This is how it hangs on the body. It actually, when I unboxed it, I thought it looked a little big to wear crossbody, but it's actually not bad just because of how the bag is shaped. It doesn't stick out too far from the body. 
which is nice. And this makes it a lot easier to deal with the opening and kind of get in and out of if you have it hanging down low like this rather than on your arm. And you can see I have it here just on the third hole, but let me play with this and see if it looks decent with the strap shortened. Okay guys, so I shortened this to the shortest hole I felt looked didn't look funny because once you start shortening it, you have this tail that you have to deal with. And if you don't mind it hanging down super low, you can make this strap really short. But if that will bother you because it looks a little bit sloppy, this is about as short as this will go. So let me try this on the shoulder for like a long shoulder carry. I'm not sure I really care for it that way, but it's nice to have the option. If you like carrying your crossbodies higher up on the body, this is what that looks like, kind of hanging above the hip area. I prefer mine hanging lower, but I know everybody's different. This is kind of a hip way to carry crossbodies. Uh, a lot of people are carrying them higher up on the waist. And last but not least, let me show you guys what this looks like just on the arm and how the scale is against the body. Like I said, pretty tight opening here because of how this bag is shaped, that kind of bowling bag curved shape. So definitely something to keep in mind. If you're someone who carries your bag this way, it might be a tight fit. Okay guys, I have the second box here. This is the other Marley satchel, which you will know by this point is the, I think it's the Marley 20, it's just the smaller version of the same bag. So this wrap job is not quite as fancy. I just have the receipt laying in here without the envelope. Let me show you. They did wrap it in tissue paper, which is nice. So let me get this sticker open here. And this one's not in the dust bag, it's just laying in here. <laughs> Poor thing. So this is the smaller Marley satchel. This is in the color block that's, um, I think, beechwood based is what they call it. So this is a smooth leather. It does have quite a bit of texture to it though, which I actually really like. Um, I feel like it'll be a little more durable than like a true smooth leather. You can see this one sports the newest Coach logo, which I think is really cool retro um, logo that they've come up with. Uh, this one, in terms of the handles, <laughs> it's not gonna happen for me. If you were super dainty, you might be able to make that work, but if you're a normal to large size person, that's just gonna be really tough to fit your hand through there. Um, so real quick, features, it has feet, it has the same kind of great hardware, like look at this tab they did here rather than the leather tab. It's so, it looks so nice in person. This hardware is awesome, this brass hardware. And then it has kind of these big exaggerated brass zipper pulls. It was the same on the larger one. So let me open this up and see what's in here. Here's the dust bag. Okay, so it did come with one. Is this even big enough? I mean, I guess so. It's not overly generous though, that's for sure. Here is the strap, the same style, but it, of course it's a color that matches this particular bag better, but you still have this really cool grommeted design. Um, and I actually really dig these straps. I feel like I could use them on a lot of other bags just because um, the versatility of how you can adjust it and the neutralness of it, but this grommet detail makes it just a little bit interesting and I really like that. So let me show you what's in here. I just have the care booklet and stuff. And once again, it is like an oxblood microfiber interior that is supposed to emulate suede. And it just has one slip pocket with a snap, not a zip pocket in this one. And you can see because this is a smaller bag, you're gonna have a smaller opening. They do have the zipper extending down the whole side, once again, which is nice, but it is not an overly generous opening. And because of that dark microfiber interior, it's pretty dark in there. So just something else to keep in mind if you're considering this bag. So let me throw the strap on this one and show you what it looks like on the body. Here is what the Marley 20 looks like against the body. I've adjusted it to the same size as the larger Marley when I tried it on crossbody. This one, of course, because it's smaller, I feel like it does hang better as a crossbody. Um, it actually looks really nice and I like it. I thought these handles were gonna be annoying, kind of digging into the hip but they really kind of sink into the leather and flatten really well. So it's not a nuisance against the body, which is nice. I actually really like this size. And this is the size that I thought I would go for. So I'm glad I confirmed it. I really, even though the handles are not really functional, 
I really like this the look of this as a crossbody. So let me shorten this strap as I did the other one for a short drop and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so I've shortened this the same way I had the large one, long enough that it doesn't look super silly hanging down. And I'll show you what this looks like as a long shoulder carry. Once again, not a huge fan of carrying it that way. It's just kind of pendulous because of the shape and I don't feel like it, it really looks that great against the body. It looks kind of sloppy in my opinion. Here, let me show you a short crossbody carry. This is really cute. I actually really like this shortened um, crossbody carry for this size. I think it looks really cute that way, and I, but I also like it long, so I feel like that's nice to have that option. And then let me show you real quick. Once again, I can't, <laughs> hold on. Oh, I got it, I got it. But definitely not practical to carry this way. I mean, you'd have to, I mean, I feel like it's a struggle to get it on and off. And if you were at like a checkout at a store, it would just be embarrassing. But you could hand carry it if you're somebody who um, does that from time to time. I am not because I need my hands. I have two little boys. But hey, if, if that works for you, it's definitely an option for this bag. All right, before I sign off here, I want to do a side-by-side -side comparison so you guys can see really the difference in size here when we're talking Marley 20 versus the regular size Marley. There is quite a bit of size difference. Um, the width is slightly different. The height is quite different. And the length is quite different as well. So there is probably, I would guess, a big difference in terms of the capacity of these bags and what you can carry. Um, if I were you, I would think about what do you carry on a daily basis. If you can get away with sunglasses, wallet, car keys, and maybe a small pouch, I would go for the Marley 20. If you need a lot more than that, I don't think I would get this size. It is pretty small. I would size up to the larger size Marley. Um, I all will also say the canvas on this does help me get a little bit lighter weight. So if, if if weight is an issue for you, I would look for one of the canvas designs. If not, I mean, I will say the leather on this bag is really nice. The quality seems really nice. It has a nice texture to it. It has a nice sheen. I really like this color block combination. It's very neutral, but it's interesting. So if weight is not an issue for you, I would definitely go for one of the leather ones. All right, I hope this video helped you guys out. I know I was personally really confused about which size of this bag would work for me. I really liked the design. I thought it was a super cute bag, but I was really confused on size and I think I'm going to go with the Marley 20 personally. I love the way that it looks crossbody and you guys know I don't carry it a whole heck of a lot on a daily basis, so I think it'll work great for me. Um, I would love to hear in the comments if you have one of these, what size and what you think about it. And if you guys have any um, requests for future videos or anything else that you want to see, whether it's Coach or another brand, you guys can see I have tons of different brands of handbags from luxury all the way down to contemporary designers. Please feel free. I always take requests and consider them, so I really appreciate it. All right, I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye!